Hello there, kitties. I'm Kerry. The vacuum tube witch. And today I've got some little flashlights you probably don't get over there on the other side of the pond. They were pretty popular here in Poland. Wanna know what's inside? Let's go to the bench and work on the blue one because it's a little bit damaged and I think I can repair it. So we've got those old school flashlights and also an old school 3R12 uh, battery that was normally made of uh, three cells connected in series so this is a 4.5 volt battery and when they are new they come with uh, a piece of paper covering the contacts the long one is negative and the short one is positive Let's get a better view. And uh, while I've got this battery in my hands, it might be a good opportunity for a little teardown. Not sure how they are built nowadays. Back when I was a kid uh, in the 90s, I used to play a lot with uh, those batteries and and light bulbs and cables and whatnot. <laughs> I was always a uh, tinkering kind of a kid. And I sometimes took those batteries apart only to realize that uh, they had uh, free free carbon cells uh, inside and those carbon cells were connected in series and potted with some uh, with some uh, pitch uh, or something uh, some other buy to mine uh, compound This one will probably not have anything by to mind because of uh, the reduction of hazardous substances, but those, uh, those cells uh, move out just like that and it is important to keep them separated. That's why uh, the enclosure has uh, three separators uh, between the cells otherwise uh, if uh, if the negatives on uh, adjacent cells uh, come into contact uh, then we will short the cell so time to recombobulate it and first test one of the flashlight. This one was actually a signaling flashlight that was made with uh, a uh, green and uh, red blend. Inserting the battery just like this Surprisingly, it does not work. Maybe it's the light bulb, maybe it's the contacts. Uh, looks like it's the light bulb.
There's no continuity on uh, on the bulb. Wonder if I have uh, any suitable uh, 3.5 volt light bulb in my collection. That's 6 volts. This one is 3.5. This one should be okay. And we've got continuity. If it doesn't work this time... Well, I should also have the... have the option to... push the button like for Morse code signaling and then there's the blend it's green! green power for y'all now it's red what if I connect the green and red it's oddly yellow Look at that! Thing of beauty! Try forever! And there's a marking on the on the back of the flashlight and um, this interestingly it says uh, CFL Sunray despite it being the Polish uh, manufacturer the other one has uh, CFL Domgos. CFL probably means uh, Częstochowska Fabryka Latarek, the Częstochowa Flashlight Factory. So this one has a uh, more familiar Polish uh, logo and this one uh, has an uh, English uh, model name. And there's even some information uh, card inside the flashlight with uh, the former address of the factory and the manufacturing date is 1970. So we're done with this one. Let's take a look at the other one. It has a slightly different uh, enclosure. It's kind of flatter on the bottom side and uh, and higher on the upper side. And it has been uh, pretty crudely repaired. And I wonder if I can get it to work again. I think that I will be removing this cable and of course I will check the light bulb, it's okay. Got the soldering iron handy. Hmm, someone even uh, put some uh, Nice work uh, into making uh, the custom uh, attachment. I will be replacing this with a uh, piece of uh, thin wire. And what I want to do is connecting the flange uh, on the light bulb holder with the enclosure but I will do it in such a way that uh, frees uh, the switch contact 
so that uh, it will conduct the the battery when the when the flashlight is working I will have to do some bending on this but all in all I'm gonna repair this uh, get it get it working again wonder if I can uh, solder the wire to the steel enclosure directly in order to do that I will have to use a uh, file to clean the metal I'd probably be better off using a Dremel but I don't want to make so much noise and there's just more joy in, uh, in doing stuff uh, with hand tools Still a makeshift fix, but uh, a little bit more agile. Sonnet. Let's try with the flashlight. Now the tricky part is to bend the contacts in a way that uh, will make them uh, come into contact uh, when the switch is on but not when the switch is off can't go too easy, can't go too hard Yeah, it looks pretty schmick. Let's check if it's gonna work. But there's one problem. The problem with the battery as if this was a little bit too thick and didn't want to go uh, in uh, fully it goes all the way down to the bottom but uh, I can't close the flashlight because the reflector comes into the way and hits the battery Look at that! Pfft. Stupid! Completely stupid! It's rather un improbable that someone uh, just uh, replaced the reflector. It looks like the factory job, but... Why doesn't the standard battery wanna work with... Uh, with this flashlight I have completely no idea but still let's bend this let's bend this metal contact 
slightly to see if uh, if my uh, switch fix uh, would be working and it is stupid have the batteries become uh, thicker over the years i'm not sure uh, if i uh, if I had a uh, real deal uh, vintage uh, 3R12 battery to test my suspicion, I could say something about it, but but I don't. And look, uh, just compare the design of those flashlights. By the way. This one is uh, seven years newer. It comes from 1977, from the same factory. But uh, look at the reflectors uh, on both both flashlights. This one is teeny tiny compared to the newer one, and this one doesn't uh, get into the way of uh, the battery at all. So, this flashlight gets the battery, and take a look, it, it closes no problem. So that would be a curious specimen of a uh, flashlight not wanting to work with a standard 3R12 battery. Why? Anyway, stay determined and carry on.